Hello everybody, it's the guys at Ztron.com here today to show you a uh, take apart video for the iPhone 5. Uh, this is a little bit different than the iPhone 4 because in the iPhone 4 in order to get to the front screen you'd have to take apart the back first, dig your way in, pop out the front screen, basically put it back together. With the iPhone 5 it's vice versa. What you do is you take out the two bottom screws, pop out the front screen, and if you want to get to the back you have to take everything out. So this kind of makes things good if you break your front screen ever and you need to replace it all you have to do is pop out these two front screws and simply replace the full assembly. So to start out we're going to take out the two bottom screws. Suction cup, haven't used these things since the 3G 3GS but on the iPhone 5 we will be needing it. Should pry up just like that a little bit and if you take a pry tool and gently pry it. Okay, so to begin we have three screws located over there, right in this area, which you want to remove. You're going to notice that a lot with the iPhone 5, there's a lot of EMI shields covering all sorts of digitizers and connectors, just so they don't get loosened up if you, know, you ever drop your phone. It should come right off. Okay, see that's going to expose your cables over here. There's three cables to be exact. Using a pry tool, you're going to want to pry them up. And there you have it. If you ever break your screen, it's as simple as replacing this front part. Uh, you can also find the home button here. We'll get to that in a second. If you ever need to replace your button, you can replace it here. The speaker is located over here. and this is your front screen assembly. Now for a home button replacement all you have to do is remove these two screws and with a little bit of glue these two golden things are actually held down which you simply peel off and replace. And it should come right off. Now once again there's a little bit of glue here so gently peel it and it comes right off. And that's your flex cable for the home button. So here you have it, this is the inside, looks similar to the older one, um, except the only thing they changed was really they put the battery over here, and I basically flipped everything around. So we're going to want to unplug the battery first, you have three screws over here that you want to take off, and there's also two EMI shields. As you can see, two of them loosened up and one actually overlaps the other, that's why there's only three screws. Now with this phone, like I said, it's a little bit different than the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4, so it depends on what you need to replace, that's what you need to take off. We're just going to go out throughout the video, just pretty much gut out the phone, so if something's wrong with your phone along the way, you have a general idea on how to fix it and how to replace it. Move the EMI shield, which is right over here, that covers the camera as well as the flash. That should also just come right off. Just like that, a little piece like that. And right over here is your camera. Now the camera is attached to the back of the motherboard so if this is something that you want to replace you're going to need to take the motherboard off first but just to give you an idea the little the little flash is just sitting there like that there it is that's the flash Okay, um, to continue, we're going to want to remove the battery. We, that could be really done at uh, any step or point of the way. Um, as long as you remove this cable right here, and just pull on this, it should come right out. And there you have it. Now, 
Next, um, we're gonna remove the motherboard. Now, in order to move the remo remove the motherboard, there's a few things you have to do. Um, the first thing is remove a few screws. There's one here, one here, one here, one there. Um, and uh, there's also one hidden right over here. This one is behind a really long flex cable. It connects basically motherboard to motherboard. Uh, you can remove it at either point. It could be here, it could be here, just to get to that screw. Once you remove those motherboard screws, there's a few more screws that are holding the motherboard in place. They're actually on the top of the phone and uh, they're located right over here. There's one right here and one right here. After you have removed those screws, there's another flex cable which is connected to the bottom of the dock that you don't want to unplug. After you have completed that, you're going to want to unplug the bottom dock from the motherboard, which is located over here. And once that is unplugged, you can take out your motherboard. Now, be careful because there's one last thing that needs to be done, and it's a connector over here that you need to unplug. There you have it, there's your motherboard. The camera is attached with two screws over here, so if you do need to replace it, you can go ahead and unscrew those. There's a few things left over here. Um, one of them is the vibrating module, which if ever goes bad, you can replace over here. The volume flex cable, which is located over here and you have your bottom portion of the phone. Obviously the lightning dock, and the new thing that they've added to the bottom of the phone would be the headphone jack. The headphone jack actually used to be over here, but they moved it over here. So if you're gonna wanna ever remove the bottom dock, this is the way to do it. You're gonna wanna start out by removing two side screws on the left and on the right. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to remove these two screws which are located over here. There's another three screws left. There's one over here and two over here. Once you removed all the screws from the bottom, you can pull out the bottom dock. Now, when you're gonna be pulling out the first piece, which is this piece, uh, there's these two metal pit prongs that actually are responsible for the home button. Just to give you an idea, when, you're, when these two gold pieces are laying down on the screen, they're touching these two prongs. That's basically how your home button works. Now, these two things are actually glued on to this portion of the dock. So there's a few ways you could do this, but if you're really gentle, you can just flip it backwards and then slowly peel it off and it should come right off. The rest of it is the big dock connector. Uh, it's also held down by glue, so if you slowly peel it, it should come right off. So there you have it. The shell, the inside housing of the iPhone 5.